and gentlemen, it is an exciting day today. Today we found a brand new Prevo conversion company that's an entry level Prevo that's less expensive than any other Prevo conversion I know about. Today we're hanging out here in Dayton, Ohio with Michael Gibson. Michael, great to see you, sir. Thank you, Andrew. You have a great reputation in the Prevo industry, in the RV industry. And you've got something exciting to show us today. What's going yeah. on today, sir? Well, we're so excited about 30 days ago, we inked a deal with Superior Coach out of Lebanon, Tennessee. And so we're the retail arm that's going to sell the coaches that they're now building, which is the Superior Coach. But this one is called their Signature Series. And what a beautiful build it is. I'm excited about this. Now, for those on the channel that aren't familiar with Superior, to my knowledge, they have a deep background in the entertainer yeah. world uh, out of Nashville there. Yeah. What's the history? What's the roots? Uh, where did all this come from? Yeah, so Nick Audino is the uh, owner at Superior Coach, and Nick has been building coaches since 1995. Nick started out as a driver in the entertainer coach industry, so he understood the things that it took to make that coach reliable on overnight trips, which was the most important thing for them, was we got to get there. The show must go on. So Nick took all of those things into consideration and he started building coaches in the entertainer industry. Today, they own a manufacturing facility in Lebanon, Tennessee, which arguably is the largest manufacturing facility of Prevo conversion coaches out of all of them. And do you know about how long they've been converting Prevo coaches for the entertainment industry and how many coaches they've converted? I don't know exactly how many they've converted. I know it's probably upwards of 500. Wow. But uh, they've been building since 1995 and they started on the Prevo XL chassis. So you can go back and find some of those and then they've built for some of the top name entertainers in the industry today. Yes, sir. This is the X3, which I'm excited because we yeah. haven't gotten very many X3s on the channel and it's a completely different floor plan, unlike anything I've ever yeah. seen. A lot of really cool stuff going on with this coach. You want to show us around? Yeah, I'd love to. Sounds good. So first, you know, the, the exterior, I see it's got the big Gerard awnings up top. Right. Very simple, clean colors. What's the whole philosophy that they went with uh, on the exterior here? Well, it's, it's more of a, a simple paint job. It was actually Prevo paint, so it just kind of came to Nick like that. And it, to me, it's a very masculine color. It's kind of manly, almost a man cave looking type paint job on it. We got a sneak preview of the inside. I'm really excited yeah. to show everybody, but can we take a look in the base? Absolutely. See how they're finished out? Yeah. So this coach is actually equipped with over the road bus air conditioning, which is very desirable in the industry. The argument that's been out there for years is you lose a whole bay when you do that. So a lot of the conversion companies will forego this bay and they'll actually put some entertainment or some type of outdoor kitchen or something in there. But but to those who have over-the-road air conditioning, they understand how important it is, especially during those summer climates. Yeah, and for those that aren't familiar, I know over-the-road air conditioning is, is necessary in the entertainer world, yeah. uh, but what exactly is that? It's an option from Prevo that yeah. I understand. It's an expensive option. What What's the benefits of You know, that? it amazes me, the folks, when they call in about a used Prevo, especially, they don't really truly understand the difference between Prevo over-the-road air conditioning versus the converter installed air conditioning whether that be cruise airs in the bay, roof air top conditioners on top of the coach. But the Prevo over the road air conditioning uh, for years was a carrier 05G compressor that runs off the main engine of the coach. And then of course you have inverters to power all of your electronics on, on board. So it's just kind of a over the road climate control that will literally cool this coach down like a meat locker. Keep in mind it was designed for 55 passengers and glass on both sides of the coach. So the over the road air conditioning is absolutely a vital thing to have. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's probably in those seated coaches, that's probably a standard option, I would assume in that. Yes, sir. So we've got a Isuzu generator 20KW. This coach is equipped with Lifeline batteries. It's just AGM batteries. They're located under the front bumper of this coach. We do have outdoor entertainment in bay two here. You've got a grill that pulls out here. You've got a sound bar as well, so you pull this out and then the grill pulls up just one switch got an electric grill outdoor yeah and i noticed that was all very effortless when you started pulling that yeah. out sometimes different entertainment bays get stuck and whatnot but True. very smooth and that's all done by superior coach it is nice. yeah yeah everything every piece on this coach is manufactured all of their metal work everything is manufactured right there a superior coach. Even this bar that the TV comes out on, all this is manufactured right there in-house. So we have smart TVs throughout the whole coach, 
have the sound bar for outdoor entertainment. Really nice little outside entertainment area. So actually here beside the TV also you have four lawn chairs that are stowed away nice for travel inside. So you've got your outdoor entertainment here underneath the awning with the grill, TV, and lawn chairs. Then in bay one, Andrew, we have some storage capability. Yeah, and on the X3, this is a much wider tray than it the is. XL2. Yes, it is. Uh, I know you've been selling a lot of buses for a long time. What are some of the big differences between the XL2 and the X3? Well, the XL2 was certainly a, a wonderful chassis that they built on for years. A lot of the builders come at it from a different angle. They've got more room to get their generator inside. I mean, I, those generators were so tight in the XL2s, hard to work on. And even the generator in this coach is, is hard mounted in there sideways. So it's not on a slide tray, but the bay is so large that you can get around both sides of it to work on it too. So I would say just larger bays for, for more storage capability. And I think we're going to see a little more headroom too when we get yeah. inside. And I think the wheelbase might be a little bit longer on this, probably a little smoother ride. And I think we're going to do a test drive in this coach as well. That's going to be a separate video that I'll leave in the description below as soon as that's ready. Front tires, do we have 365s up front? Yeah, you have 365s on the steers and on the tag axle. 315s round out the drive axle. Have full turn signal cameras, backup camera, and then as you and I were talking on the way here, all of that is driven through a Stinger stereo system, which I'm a huge fan of. It's an all-in-one stereo system, so your XM radio, Apple CarPlay, turn signal cameras, backup camera, it's all right there together, one unit. Yeah, very simple cockpit. I look forward to showing the folks inside at that. Hmm. Now, the front end here, this is a newer look more sleek. I love the Prevo lettering up front there. It almost has a little more of a curve it than does. we saw on the XL2s. What all are we seeing up front here? I've heard a lot of people say that they almost married the XL2 and the H345 on this particular model. I think it's just a really, really attractive look. I know you're extremely knowledgeable about the Prevo brand and we'll have to talk a little later about your history and how you got into the okay. Prevo world. You got a great story, but the beam in between the two windshields here, they've got a split windshield. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the reasoning that Prevo does the two-piece windshield rather than a one-piece like a lot of other RVs out there? The Prevo chassis is going to be found in most cities USA. So the serviceability, the replacement is going to be a whole lot easier. You're probably going to find them in stock. And then just the one big windshield that you have. I mean, if you catch one rock, you've lost the whole windshield as opposed to just replacing one out of the two. Yeah, and I think the cost on the split windshields is significantly less oh, expensive yeah. than a big one piece. So if you do have to replace that, it's a lot less expensive as well. Very true. Yeah, so over here on the driver's side of the coach, we're going to have more what I call the business operation of the coach. So in bay one here, you're going to find all of your electronics, your fuse panel, your uh, main breaker, and your short cord actually comes out here in bay one too, which is a little different than most of the builders do. But you've got the switch here in the door to let your cord in and out. Uh, you got all your main breakers down here and your inverters actually located here in bay one too, as well as your master cutoff switch for your batteries. One of the things, Andrew, that I've noticed on this particular model, the, the X3 chassis, is how strong the doors are. They're really heavy, they're built really well. I don't think I've ever seen the switch on the door, which is just nice that you're not reaching in here. If you're kind of looking out at where, what's going on right. around the coach, you just have a couple feet you could step out. Really like that. Yeah, and you just flip it on and walk away and then it'll keep coming out or keep going in and you can just kind of guide it in as well. Although they are new to the motorhome industry, they've built a lot of Prevos so they can think of a lot of little stuff like That's that. That's correct. They pride themselves on building a strong coach. The, the integrity of the coach is built for 12 roadies to go up and down the road every night and they do it every night. So uh, bay number two here is full plumbing. So you've got your water pump, your filtration, you've got your hose that pulls out if you're at a campground. And one of the things that Nick does a little different, you know, it's it's it just makes the simplicity of the coach so desirable, is the water pump that he uses here. You can literally go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick this up. So the whole philosophy behind this is to build a common man's coach. The number one, you can work on it yourself. And number two, parts availability are going to be very simple to find. I think there's a lot of value and then a lot of people are, are looking for something like this. Now, I'm seeing something behind you have never seen before i yeah. decided you know let the water run a little away from your campsite out yeah. here on the door little paper towel roll utilizing that space i love seeing yeah and your stainless steel hoses are literally running right through the chase of the door here over to the faucet yeah very cool and then is this your water heater here no that's an expansion tank that's a pressure tank oh, pressurized pressure tank, tank. Okay. yeah yeah which brings us to bay three which is where your aqua hot is located okay. so here in bay three it's 
finished out beautifully with this beautiful metal work, but you've got your aqua hot system located right in here. All your dump valves are located behind this door, but they work off of switches right here. A little insulation there, like a quiet box for the aqua hot. There, yeah, or? yeah, it nice. is. Yeah, it is. Do you know what the diesel fuel can capacity is on this coach? 208, I believe. They've got a lock on the fuel door there to protect yeah. that 200 gallons of diesel. As expensive as it is, we need to protect it, don't we? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then I like the simple marker lights down the side of the coach. Which really lights it up at nighttime. So what's the power plan on the X3? So the X3 comes with the Volvo D13 engine, just a tested, tried and true product from Volvo. 20,000 pound towing capacity on this coach. It's an industrial machine, I believe uh, just over 500 horsepower. Yes, sir. There's a lot more room, number one, if you've ever worked on the older XL2 with the uh, Detroit diesel engine in it, there's just a lot more room and accessibility back here to work on the coach. So you've got the over the road air conditioning compressor we were talking about earlier located right here. It's a lot smaller than the old one used to be as well. We've got the added alternators that charge the house battery stuff that are hidden away really nice. Everything's just a lot more compact on this coach than the than the ones of yesteryear. The nice thing about this coach as well is if you are out on the road and have an unforeseen problem, you throw a belt, they've got it labeled really nice to where the schematics are here, which makes uh, changing belts really easy for the most consumers. What type of uh, service network does Prevo have set up for the oh my. this coach? I mean, you've got service locations all around the country, ever expanding at that. So they're opening new facilities, you know, it seems like every few years. And then they also have vans that are out servicing their customers, whether it be NASCAR tracks or major rallies or events. And then one of the most impressive things is the uh, pass program that Prevo has, the Prevo Action Service. So any problem that you're having with the coach, no matter what time of day or night it is, you can call in. And I've had to use it myself, Andrew, and they're very efficient at helping you locate what the problem may be on your coach. Now, is that only for new coaches under warranty or no, any sir. year? No, that's for any year coach. A so lot of value to that. Oh, so. it's tremendous. It's tremendous. I had a situation not long ago to where I was out. I was picking a coach up at the racetrack. There was nobody there, just me, God, and a cell phone. And I couldn't get one of the slides to come in. And they literally guided me to a circuit breaker that had popped that I would not if I could have been there for three weeks and wouldn't have found it. A lot of value to that, having someone Absolutely. that can just kind of walk you through on the other line, even if they're just there for moral support. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Always good to have them. And you've yeah. been playing with, with Prevos for a long time. Yes, sir. Back at your shop, you've got uh, some buses back from the 80s. So, yeah. uh, so yeah. you, you, you have some experience yes, pushing sir. these down the road. Yes, so. sir. Ladies and gentlemen, unlike anything we've ever seen. So Mike, what is going on inside of this coach? Man, we're in a brand new 2023 Superior Signature Series motorhome. So a lot of little different stuff I'm seeing that I really like. I love the cup holders on the couch here. You gotta have a spot to set yeah. a drink, but a lot of cool little touches. But before we go through this coach, you wanna show us the cockpit area, what they're yeah. doing up there? So here in the cockpit, everything that we have in the cockpit is manufactured by Superior Coach. And what I mean by that is they, they used to outsource all their blinds, but they found out that it's more convenient and less money to actually manufacture their own blinds right down to the motor. Everything that's located up here, they manufacture in-house. All of the interior pieces on the dashboard are dipped at their facility there in Tennessee in, in the Nashville area. It just It's beautiful because all of the design here in the front end matches the interior that we have going on behind us here. So we have the um, Firefly system here that's located up front. So we can we can basically manipulate anything that's inside the coach or run through the Firefly system from right here without leaving the driver's station. If you're driving down the road at night and you need to turn the lights on or off, you can do that right here. Blinds can be taken up and down. You can do all that right here. So it's just very convenient. I've already spoken to the simplicity of the stereo system, but here again, you can see a better view that you've got all these options. You've got navigation, radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can do everything right here through this Stinger 10 inch stereo. Down through the years, Prevo just continues to enhance their product. You can do your cruise control and jake brake right here on the steering wheel once you become familiar with it without having to look away from like you did in some of the older coaches and, and see which switch you needed to touch for different things like your jake brakes or, or like your cruise control so everything is just streamlined right here and it's user friendly your blinds are also right here in the steering wheel so just the simplicity of the coach 
a beautiful combination of Prevo and Superior Coach. They have a simple, common man coach is what I like to call it. As we're going through this coach, I'm noticing the TVs. I like that you've got the TV in the slide room yeah. here. Yeah. So when the slide room comes in while you're going down the road, that can still be watched. Like most Prevo conversion companies, we have the overhead TV as well that comes down. If you'd like, I can yeah, operate it. Everything's through the Firefly system. So you just go into the screens here and tell the front TV to extend and it drops down. Very simple. Very simple, very quiet. Um, and then can that stay down while you're going down the road or does that have to come up? It can stay down while you're going down it's the road. It's probably one it's, it's, it, it is a safety issue and yeah. most people don't travel with it down. Yeah, and that's so beautiful how when that tucks up, you've got that cream color leather and then like a cream color uh, veneer here on the ceiling with the lighting, just a really light style, real, real high end feeling. It's not common that you see people use the laminate that's on the walls in the headliner and you have to look close to see it, but they do actually have the same laminate on the headliner. It's beautiful. And it just really ties the whole coach Flows together nicely. well. It yes, really sir. does. A lot of seating here in this yeah, coach. Is. I'm going to try this out for size now. Will this turn into sleeping? Yes, it does. And through the Firefly system, it's just the touch of a button and it's on an electric motor. And you so it show slides us how it's out. done? Yeah. Right here on the Firefly, you've got your sofa bed, extend and retract. So if we extend it, that sofa starts coming out. Really good size mattress. And then with the slide room out, still a lot of room. So I think that that will still go down even if the slide room is in. Is there enough yeah, room for that? Sure, absolutely. And then a little office area. We just have a uh, table set up here. It's got plenty of storage. Can be used as an office as well, desktop. All of the solid surface in this coach, this particular coach, is real granite. It's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I love the colors that they chose, the blacks, the grays, the light floors. Ties together well. Now, yeah. are these floors heated? Yes, they are. Nice. Heated they are. They, they are zoned. So we have different zones throughout the coach. So it's not like you turn it on and it's all heated. So you have a zone in the bedroom and then one in the bathroom and one forward as well. So three zones. Now, a lot of the stuff that we're seeing in the higher end coaches, I'm trying to understand how they get to that below $2 million mark. What's some of the stuff that's maybe not in this coach? Where, where are they stripping the cost out? How are they able to get such a so much less expensive than the other Prevo converters? Yeah, so I mean, I think it's a great question it, and it deserves to be answered, but I think there's also a lot of common answers that could go along with that. I mean, you could start out with just the basic Prevo paint job. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful coach, but you know, we all admire Dean Lauchs and what he can turn out on a, on a beautiful brand new Liberty coach. So, only, you know, only $150,000, $200,000. That's what I say. Yeah. There, there's 200000 that we can eliminate right away. And then I think as we come into the coach, you have to remember that simplicity is what we were after. Just like the headliner alone. If you look at the headliner throughout this coach, it's beautiful, but it's not made out of hand carved wood and, you know, so many turns and twists and turns because all of those things equivalent into man hours and man hours are money. All of the uh, appliances in this coach, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or, or Menards. You can buy these things in the marketplace. So we're not buying things out of Italy. We're not bringing things in specially, importing them for this coach. There are coach builders that will do that for you, Andrew. Yes, sir. We're not trying to compete with them. Our whole motto here was we wanted to have a brand new coach with factory warranty from Prevo, factory warranty from the builder. It's yours. It's brand new. But you can also rest in the fact that you can afford it. So as you go up the ladder and you get up to the $3 million price point, you're eliminating a lot of buyers who just simply can't participate. We wanted to bring something to the marketplace that if Bob and Sue have worked all their lives, they've saved for years, they're going to retire and they want a brand new Prevo, they still can. So that's the concept behind what we're trying to build and provide here. I think also too, a lot of people just, even if they can afford more expensive, sometimes they just want a more simple paint job. Some people prefer the simplicities. Yeah, everybody's wired a little bit differently. I, I respect that. I have a lot of customers that come in and they use their own terminology as to what the different builders, uh, as in, you know, Liberty, Featherlight, Marathon, Millennium, as to what they think that their interiors look like. And they are all unique. They're different. They're kind of all the same, but just a little different. What I use when, when I'm talking to a customer is we have to find your flavor. And I think it's just a word that people can understand. So when you walk into this coach, I've, I've not had anyone walk into this coach yet that didn't say, man, this is just, it feels like home. It's yeah. just beautiful. Well, it's simple and clean, not overdone. I like the colors. Now, you right. mentioned the warranty. 
What is the warranty on this coach from Prevo, and then what's the warranty from Superior? Yes, yeah, so you're going to have the standard factory warranty from Prevo, which is going to be a three-year warranty, and Superior Coach is placing a two-year labor warranty on all the workmanship inside the coach. Okay. And the nice thing about that is, is you can get this coach worked on anywhere USA. It's not to talk down about the other guys in the industry, but our coach is also price pointed where it is because we don't lock you out with codes. We don't have proprietary electronics inside the coach that would eliminate people from working on it. There's nothing worse than having a simple problem where you have to drive 1800 miles just to get it fixed. You have more money in your travel schedule than you do in your invoice to get the coach repaired. So what we've tried to provide here is a service after the sale. You can take your coach to Nashville and have it worked on at Superior. You can bring it here to Dayton. So you got two points in the Midwest. But if you're on the West Coast and you need your coach worked on, most people in the RV industry know who Nick at Superior Coach is, and they can call him. They'll walk you through the repair, and they'll pick up the invoice. Keeping all those entertainer buses going, Superior's got quite a network around the country for people that can work on these. No doubt. Awesome. And then I was a superior coach a few weeks ago, and there was a Millennium coach inside his shop where he was providing service on that. So a lot of these coaches have a lot of the same components inside, and a lot of people can work on them. You or I may not be able to, Andrew, but to those that know what they're doing, there's there's a lot of service after the sale that's provided. Yeah, absolutely. And you were mentioning the different pass codes. I'm noticing these big panels. I love how big they are. What type of control systems are used in this coach? So this is the Firefly system. I mean, almost everything in this coach is programmed through the Firefly system. You can put the slides in and out, which is the screen that we're on right here. You can select your audio video. You can do all the blinds throughout the coach, all the lighting throughout the coach, climate control throughout the entire coach. Everything can be done from, uh, I believe, six different points throughout the coach. Uh, let's take a look. I'm, I'm checking out this booth area here. It's got kind of a curve behind you. Let's uh, let's take a seat here. I want to try this out for size. Cause yeah, this table actually turns, so a lot of people wonder how you can get in and out of it. So it turns really easily. Nice. Yeah, and I love they brought that same finish, that same countertop that we saw in the galley through this coach. Very high-end finishes. And then again, like that countertop below the windows yeah. here. Yeah, all below the windows. Below here, you've got a spot to kind of set your arm and get comfortable. Uh, all those little details, the overhead cabinets with the little glass inlay, and then you can see those lights turned on when we open that up too, I like that. Yeah, and then, and then coming into the galley, there's something I'm noticing getting in and out of the slide room here is the headroom in this coach. So uh, this is an X3, so quite a bit more headroom than we see in the H3s or the XL2s. Yeah, it's never been an issue for me, but I can appreciate <laughs> yes, it for, for guys like yourself. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, and then the slide room as well here. I'm going to kind of step back yeah. here, but you can see the slide room is taller than we've seen in the XL2s and the H3s as well. So for, for the taller folks out there, they can appreciate that, uh, just that little extra headroom. Sure. And then that also equates to a little more space for storage as well. And then, of course, you've got those huge Prevo windows. Yeah. And make sure to check out the test drive video where you'll get a panoramic view while the coach is going down the road. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Going back into the galley area here, what's all going on back here? Well, we have all the creature comforts of home. Again, simplicity. We're trying to bring everything that you would have at home into the coach. We actually have a dishwasher located here underneath the sink, kind of hidden with a nice laminate cover. Have a uh, induction stovetop on the on the counter here. We have the microwave, and and I don't think that I have seen any time recently where someone actually put a Whirlpool oven in the coach. So we actually have a real oven. For those of you, I had one lady tell me one time the only thing she made from inside the coach was reservations. I get it. <laughs> but if some people want to cook inside the coach, we have stove and oven, microwave, dishwasher. Have a full-size refrigerator here. So again, the comforts of home. A lot of people walk into this one and just say it feels like a custom-built home once you get inside the kitchen. Yeah, and then another thing I'm noticing is the height of the backsplash here. Yeah. Because you've got more headroom, I love the cabinets here, how they've got a different texture on the inlay, just a really cool look. And then when we open these up, those will light up. And again, you have a lot of height inside of your cabinet here just because of that extra headroom. And then I see it looks like some pretty high-end dishes in this coach. Do those come with the coach? Yeah, they do. Every new coach from Superior Coach is outfitted with Emerald Lagasse cookware and uh, plateware as well. Nice, nice. It also comes equipped with full silverware, cutlery, 
Everything that you would need to yeah, go camping and, this work this weekend. And it's got the silverware dividers already in there. I mean, everything's set up really clean how they do that. And then another glass drawer. I've never seen this style just to keep those rattles down uh, while you're going down the road. Yeah. I like it. They're right. really yeah. thinking ahead on this. Yeah. The other thing, all of the cabinets are lined with the same laminate in the bottom. Yeah, I really like that. Most of the different companies are doing different liners, but... That just really ties it together. Nice finish there at the bottom. Yes, too. sir. Uh, we mentioned previously that the coach does have over-the-road bus air. So the over-the-road bus air is actually ducted out right here at about eye level as opposed to down on the floor. Just cools the room a little quicker. Is that this ducting we're seeing up top here as well? I think, I think this here is to actually vent the microwave. But these over here are actually bus AC. Now, what are the other cooling systems? We're flying the drone. We yeah. saw a bunch of uh, rooftop air conditioning units. What's all going on on the roof of this? So place? industry standard for years has been four rooftop air conditioners. And I can take you back a few years before that when it was actually only three. Mm -hmm. But during those years, they was questioning whether or not that was enough. So they went to four. Again, bringing some of the conveniences from the entertainer coach industry into the arena. There's five roof air units on this coach. So cooling capacity on this coach is five ton. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so between bus AC and then five rooftop ACs, you go to Arizona, Florida, yeah. all the hot climates, it's, it's definitely set up. And then the insulation of this coach too, you know, the Prevo bus, we've talked about how they're, you know, built for cold weather, hot weather. What is it about the structure and the insulation of these coaches that they hold the temperature so much different? And or even a lot of your conversion companies, as Prevo moves forward with their product, so are the conversion companies, and so are the products that are available on the aftermarket, like Dynamat, and then there's foil that you can actually insulate the coach with before you ever start building it. So holding temperature climate control inside these coaches has become easier through the years. Ooh, I love the different colors. Like the two-tone, it's a little lighter finish on the walls here as we come in, like more of a cream with yeah. a little gray texture in it. The blacks and whites are very popular these days. So we've got the full-size residential refrigerator here. We've got more pantry storage space right here. We actually have slide-out drawers. I like that the little knife holder there. Yeah, that's for, actually, that's for all your cutlery that's located up in that silverware drawer up there. Have a very deep drawer here. Again, more of that beautiful laminate in the bottom of the drawer. And then we have the trash can that slides out right here. Hey, we all need to trash and recycle too. I trash like to and recycle. That. Yes, sir. Now, bath and a half coach with a totally different floor plan. Totally different plan. floor plan. Yeah. You want to show us what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so the forward portion of the coach actually has a half bath. So if you have guests, visitors, grandchildren, whoever may be along with you, have a bath half bath located right up front here before you walk through the bulkhead wall. All right, so checking out the half bathroom up here, you've got a lot of room up here. You've got overhead uh, storage up top above your toilet. Same beautiful finishes, plenty of room. And then they've even got the little bidet uh, shower one if you want to clean the toilet up or uh, clean yourself up there. That feature is becoming uh, much more popular in these high-end coaches. Uh, then also a little bit of storage here. I love the bowl style uh, vessel sink here. And then again, you know, going with that headroom, a lot of headroom in this bathroom and a little more storage up here, just utilizing every little nook. So as you come to the rear of the coach, you got your half bath here for your guests. And then as we walk through the bulkhead wall, you've now entered into the bedroom. So the bathroom is forward. So you have a second toilet that's located here with all the same amenities. And then you actually have a stack washer and dryer that's located right here inside the restroom. The nice thing that's convenient about this is mama can do laundry, lay it on the bed, fold it, put it away, and she's done, as opposed to it being forward in the coach. Also have a full-length mirror here for mama to check herself out before <laughs> she goes to dinner. Very important. Yeah, the, the head area here, a lot of room around the head. What's, what's going on back there? There is. There's plenty of room there. You know, one of the complaints that I've heard through the years is that there wasn't a private water closet. But when you provide that private water closet, a lot of times it's really tight. So we opted to go with the open floor plan here, and the uh, the master bath has plenty of room here around the head. We have the his and her sinks here together. It's across from a beautiful shower. Love the way this shower turned out. It's got some of the most beautiful stonework in it. And then we also have the uh, overhead rainfall faucet that falls down upon you. Of course, you can switch back and forth. You also have the wand 
uh, that you can use to spray yourself off, but it's just a beautiful shower. Do you want to give us the shower test or should I? I think you should. Okay. I think you should. I'm a little vertically challenged, <laughs> Andrew, so we'll we'll see how this X3 chassis worked out. Yeah, and I really like the first thing I'm noticing, this nice bench seat. And then again, you know, I'm 6'2 in the X3, a lot of headroom in here, and I love that shower head directly overhead. And then a nice little spot to store your shampoo and body wash bottles. You've got the multiple shower heads and beautiful tile work. And then that same solid surface for your little bench seat here. And then a cool sleek drain here. I love the style design. And then even a little mirror here if you want to maybe shave in the shower or brush your teeth in the shower. And all the little details finished out. You've got this panel wrapped in leather with the puck lighting. That same high-end ceiling in your shower. Just a very rich and elegant feel inside of this coach. When you look at all the little stuff like this in this coach, it's such a sleek overall package just really ties together well. This does not feel like we're in a motor home at <laughs> all. I mean, just such a cool style. What's all going on back here? Well, it's got a queen size bed, a very beautiful layout back in here. Again, we've incorporated the granite on both sides of the bed. So your nightstands are on either side of it. You actually have the smaller three by five Firefly panels on each side of the coach as well. So yeah, if you touch those, you have the same ability to control everything inside the coach from laying right inside the bed. Yeah, those big Prevo windows, they're down right now with the blinds down. Right. Doesn't feel like we're in a motorhome, but you can utilize that view. And then I like that the windows are on the sides of the slide room right. as well. A beautiful bedding and that, you know, a good amount of countertop space too. They didn't short you there, but it's also got a huge walk-in closet it there. Uh, we're going to take a look at that in a second, but I just want to point out, you've got a lot of overhead storage here. And that all lights up when we open this, all lined with carpet, super clean. And I love that styling with the inlay and the cabinet door with the lighter and darker gray, just such sleek styling. Samsung TV back here in the bedroom, it looks like. Yeah. What's the uh, audio video? You have the Samsung TVs all throughout the coach in the forward portion of the coach. You have two TVs. You have one in the bedroom. You actually have one down in the bay uh, that we shot earlier. So you have Samsung TVs. And you also have the Marantz sound throughout both rooms. Now the coach is wired for direct TV over the road. Uh, in motion, but uh, the new owner will have to provide those receivers, but it is wired for all that. So we have full audio video throughout the coach. Nice. And as we're talking in the bedroom here, I've got to point out just those cool little accent lights, just the, all those little touches really set this coach off nice. Andrew, if you travel as much as I do, you probably stay in a lot of hotels as well. And one of the other things that we were trying to accomplish with this coach was to feel like we were staying in a very nice, comfortable W hotel or a high-end Hampton Inn, or a Fairfield. I think this is more of a Ritz-Carlton, St. Yeah. Regis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I love that you stay at the Hampton Inns. I like Hampton Inns myself, too, but I think this is a... Common man coach, yes, sir, right? Yes, here sir. it is. I respect that. Now, what kind of storage do we have here? This is a double-slide coach, too. So even being a double-slide, still a lot of... There lot is. Of there is a lot of storage. So actually, you have, you have several drawers here as far as doors, and you might be surprised at how deep that those actually are. But we have uh, six drawers that pull out, you know, for your for your clothing, and uh, also have the uh, well, we have remote controls in here. Deep drawers, and I like that they continued with that same look of the cabinet face on the bottom of the drawer. Yeah. They're really a nice look. Yeah, it's throughout the whole coach. Really a nice added touch. And I hit on those lightings, but also this box around the TV, just to set it off and give it yeah. a nice, nice, nice trim. look. We've got a full walk-in yeah. closet Help back yourself. there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cruise right in, and I wanna show you guys the height of the closet. There is a little step up here because that big Volvo D13 is going to be down below this closet, but literally a walk-in closet. I could even sit down right here if I needed to put some shoes on. You've got the dual hanging space then a nice little laundry hamper here, more hanging space here, and it's all lined with carpet. You've got your components for your surround sound system and then your control panel over here. I love how this breaker panel looks. Just it's very clean. Everything's labeled well. So if you did need to come back here and pop a breaker, they're going to make that very easy for you to find what you need. Yeah, and then again, you know, just little storage cabinets here, uh, utilizing every little bit of space, really like you would see in a multi-million dollar home. Very high-end rear closet here. Again, the ceiling is lined with that leather type material, just 
every square inch is finished out when you look at this coach. Outlets here in your closet if you want to store a vacuum back here. Well, Michael, this is a great opportunity for someone. Now, is. is this coach available now? It is. For someone to become the next owner of this coach, how much money do they need to come up with? This coach is $1,950,000. Now, what about custom ordering a new Prevo and having Superior We'd love to. convert that? Is Absolutely. there any limitations at what they can and can't do? Or? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We have shells sitting right now. They're getting ready to start building some more. So we're in discussion with them right now of what we want to do on the next ones. But this one is available right now, and we would love nothing more than to spec one out for a client. And who can serious and qualified buyers contact uh, if they're ready to purchase? That would be me. Coach? They can call us at 614-753-8267. They can send us an email. They can visit our website, which is imperialluxurycoach.com. All of our coaches, including this one, are on our website. We try to keep it up to date. Awesome, Michael. I really appreciate you showing us around this Thank beautiful you. coach. Also appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.